beep, silent beep. Um, this is what I look like when I've had no alcohol in my body for 30 days. Yeah, I look terrible, but I feel better. Um, this is the whole dry January thing. I, I do it quite a lot of years sort of in a row unintentionally because what I find is I don't often want to go out in January because I've been out a lot in December. So what I tend to do is just not drink. Now this year, other people have cottoned onto it and thought they'd make a big deal out of it. So uh, on the odd time that I may have one drink in January with a meal or whatever, considering I've been working in Edinburgh, I've been working in Belfast, I've been working in London, and I didn't have a drink at all, even though I got a drink of lager bought for me when I went out for a curry in Edinburgh, and I just went, no, I'm not gonna have that. So it's quite a good thing to do. Give yourself a you know a bit of a dry period of time and don't have don't abstain 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 don't not have any liquid because you'll probably die. But alcoholic beverages you can you can skip those. So I mean this is just a little reminder for me. I remember doing a video I think it was in two thousand and something where I didn't drink for uh, the month of January but I struggled. I found it difficult because I was a bit of a Alcoholic, well, I wasn't alcoholic, I just drank a lot at that time. At the moment, I don't really drink that much because, I don't know, it's expensive, it's bad for you, etc. You know, you'll spend like three, falling over without even trying or nothing, you'll spend like three or four quid or whatever it is on a pint, three something, and go like, yeah, pint, blur. And then you get to the app store and you're falling, and you're like, 99 pence for a game? That's ridiculous. And you, and you, I mean, that's just me. And you just don't spend it, but you don't think twice to just blast the money on 16 pints of Guinness, which is apparently what I had when I was in York that time. Well, that's what people counted, it may have been more, May have been less, I don't know. But just lately, this week, this month, trying to sort of be healthy after the old uh, Christmas period. And, and I've done that thing uh, where I'm starting to eat a lot healthier. Not just because it's January, just because, you know, I'm getting on a bit and it's not good to eat crap and all that kind of thing. Picked up the old gym training and keep doing that. And I thought, I'm gonna eat healthy, I'm eating a lot of veg, a lot of bananas. God, this is boring, but I actually feel really, really good. I feel mega positive. I feel like super duper happy and um, and just good. I mean, I'm quite a positive person at the best of times, <laughs> the worst of times. But at the moment, I feel like I've had something, you know, like a drug or something to make me feel good. And it's it, people say, <laughs> you are what you eat. <laughs> And um, technically, you are to a certain degree. And I've always heard that and completely dismissed it. But I actually feel in these last week or two, in this month, I just feel better. I've got more energy. I'm on, you know, I have the whey and the branch chain. I mean, I have to think with the gym in the morning and the evening. I have loads of steamed veg every day. I have bananas every day. I have loads of eggs. I have chicken fillets. Try not to have anything processed. But... It just, it just gives you wings, it gives you more energy, it makes you feel better. Instead of eating like packet sandwiches that are just full of salt, sugar and choice, I actually feel like I've just got loads of energy. I don't feel like I need as much sleep. I go to bed at midnight, I get up around 7, 8 and I'm just like, bing, right, ready for the day, let's go and eat some food, yay. I don't know what this is. I oh, know it's waving. It's waving. I don't do that anymore. I go like, yay, let's eat food. I'm going to wave at everyone. I don't do that. I just feel like I've got plenty of energy. And a lot of you don't know this because a lot of you don't watch this because let's face it, there's miles better things to do with your life than watch me standing in my kitchen talking to myself. But I've been taking a picture of my belly every day and putting it on a stupid website. It's not a stupid website. It's a brilliant website. But my belly pictures are stupid. Uh, to try and sort of encourage myself to not be as fat. Now, taking pictures isn't just enough. Isn't just enough. Isn't enough to make you not as fat. Doesn't actually stop you being fat. It just makes you realise that you are fat. So I've been taking these pictures and um, a bit of fluctuation. I've been writing what I've been doing and I've done it every single day. You know, these like photo a day projects, videos a day projects, all that. I have been doing video diaries daily. But I just skipped the odd one unintentionally. I've missed about... <sighs> In the whole of January, I've probably missed about five, and they're not very interesting videos, <laughs> much like this one. But 
they're informative and I just watched the first one from December well, I did started it on the 31st of December and it was me saying oh Christmas is over oh I'm going to stop drinking for a bit oh always me oh I don't want to go back to work yet it wasn't I didn't say it like that but those were the kind of things I was saying but I was just kind of like just going back through point being is there is no point well there is I in theory should be able to go back to any day in the year, within one or two, because I missed the odd one, and just say, what did I do on the 18th of August, 2014? And I'll be able to look at it and think, I did nothing apart from whinge about being fat. So it's quite a good idea. If you don't do video, if you don't do vlogs like me, you don't do videos, um, well done, because um, they're not that interesting things to do for anyone else other than you. I recommend doing it for yourself. Not many other people get anything out of it, because it's just you talking about yourself in your kitchen. I mean, if you're interested, not like me, yours are probably quite good, I don't want to discourage you, but if you don't do vlogs or you're a bit scared of going on the internet, you don't want to put yourself on YouTube for other people to find you and laugh at you, um, just record them. Don't even upload them, or if you do upload them, keep them private. And it's quite insightful. I can see my mood changing. Because, I mean, obviously this fast-talking, being dead positive sort of me is kind of a tuned-up version of me. It's still me. It's not false in that way. But sometimes, when I'm not recording myself, I talk a bit slower. I'm a little bit easier to be around. I'm not obnoxious in the way that I am. Like, if it was like this all the time in real life, everyone would be like, what's your problem? Are you on some kind of amphetamine or something? Anyway, this was going to be a quick video. It was going to have a bit of a point to it. I think I was just going on about the fact that I take a picture of my belly every day. Um, but I lost the thread. I've lost the thread. So I must have been talking for at least 6 minutes, 50 seconds-ish, something like that. So I, I reckon that's enough time to shut up. Because I'm not going to get to the point, even if, well, even if there was a point. Which, to be honest, I just wanted to see how good eating good food makes me feel. I recommend it. If you get the opportunity to eat reasonably good food, give it a go. Stop eating bad food and see if it makes you feel happier. Because I feel happy. And the moral of this story is things and stuff. Anyway, I'm in the seven minutes now. I can't believe it. I've got so much more to say, but I'm going to shut up now. Because if you've watched this far, you're amazing, Mum. See you later. Take care now. Bye-bye then.